any go unless it is a threat to us. So Hitler in Germany, not a threat to us in the beginning, but executing people all day long, you would have let him That's go. That's not true. Hitler with Japan attacked the United States. No, before they were part of the from thirty three until forty one, there's a lot he was an imminent threat to the United States. There's a lot States. of things we should have done. You would have removed stop, Hitler, though, right? I, would, I wouldn't even have allowed him to come to power. Oh, you wouldn't have. If, if we that was done, a preemption for Michael done, Moore. You would have invaded. If we'd done, if we'd done our job, if we'd done our job, and oh, you want to get into talking about what happened after World War One? Listen, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, we, I'm trying to stop this war right now. I know you are, but you're basically. Are you against saying, that? Stopping against this what? war? Stopping this war? No, we cannot leave Iraq right now. We so have you to would it. sacrifice your child to secure Fallujah. I want to hear you say that. I would sacrifice myself. No, your child. Myself. It's Bush sending the children there. Myself. Not you right. and I don't go to wars because we're because too old. Because if we back out of there, there'll be more deaths and you know it. Would you, I want to hear you more say, deaths I, Bill O'Reilly, would sacrifice my child to oh, secure yeah. Fallujah. I'm not going to say what you say. You're a, that's you ridiculous. don't believe that. Why should Bush sacrifice the children of people across America Look, for this? It's a it's worldwide war on wrong. terrorism. I know that escapes. Wait you. a minute, terrorism? Yeah, Iraq. Terrorism. Correct. There are oh, terrorists really? in Iraq. Yeah. Oh, real. Oh, so Iraq now is now responsible for the terrorism here. Iraq aided terrorists. Don't you know anything about Hezbollah, Hamas, any of that? You uh, know anything about that? So you're saying Iraq is responsible for I'm what? I'm saying that Saddam Hussein aided terrorists all well, day long. you're not going to get me to defend Saddam Hussein. I'm not. You know, you're no. his biggest defender in the media. Well, now you know you that. You want us to pull that. You, oh, he'd, come look, on. If you were running, That's he'd insulting. still be sitting there. How do you know if that? If you were running the country, Are you kidding? he'd still be sitting How there. How do you know that? You wouldn't have removed him? I, look, let me tell you something. In the 19, Would you have removed him? Listen, I'll answer your question. In the 1990s, look at all the brutal dictators that were removed. Things were done. You take it to any of a number of countries, whether it's Eastern Europe, the people rose up. South Africa, the whole world boycotted South Africa. If I uh, remember correctly, Africa. when Reagan was building up the arms, you were against and that. And the dictators were well, well, gone. When Reagan was building up the arms, you were against that. Building up the arms did not cause the fall of Eastern Europe. Of course it did. It bankrupted no, the, the Soviet the Union and it collapsed. people rose up. Yeah, why? Because the, the Soviet Union was bankrupt. The same we did in our country, that we had our revolution and people rose up. All right. That's how you, let me ask you this one, question though. One more. How do, you, how do you deliver democracy to a country? You don't do it through the barrel of a gun, do you? That's not how you deliver no, it. You give the people some kind of self-determination, which they never would have had under Saddam. Why didn't they rise up? But let me let me just tell you, because they couldn't. It was a Gestapo-led uh, place when they got their heads cut off and well, many, sideways. That, that's true in many countries throughout it the is. world. It is. And you it's know what shame. people have done? They've risen up. And you can do it in a number of ways. You can do it our way through a violent revolution, which we Propaganda. won. Propaganda. The French did it that way. You can do it by boycotting South right. Africa, and you can overthrow the dictator there. There's many ways to I'm do I'm glad this. we had this discussion, because it just shows you that I see the world my way, mm -hmm. you see the world your mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. all right? And then we can let the audience who's watching us here decide who's right and who's wrong. And that's the fair way to do it, correct? Right. I would not sacrifice my child to secure Fallujah, and you would? Again, I would sacrifice you myself. You wouldn't send another child, another parent's child to Fallujah, mm -hmm. would you? You that's, would sacrifice your life to secure Fallujah? I would. When can we sign him up? That's right. You'd love when to get rid of me. Sign him up right now. You'd love to get rid Where's of me. Where's the recruiter? No, I don't want. I want you to live. I want you to live. I appreciate it. All right, Michael Moore, everybody. There he is. All right. Now, what I find really striking about that conversation was, no matter how much evidence that we produced, no matter how many people say both President Clinton and President Bush genuinely believe Saddam had WMDs based on intelligence. You will never, ever get a Bush hater to concede lies we're not told. That, ladies and gentlemen, is blind ideology. And blind ideology is never good on either side. We do appreciate more coming on in here. Uh, he knew what he was in for, and we hope you enjoyed that interview. And tomorrow on the email segment, we're going to read a lot of your reaction to it, so let us know, all right? Now, we'll be back in a moment with your mail, the most ridiculous item, and uh, another surprise.